What is the what is the things that you picked up from the videos? Just what I was expecting. I I just felt so uneasy coming in, not having a big general idea of what I was doing week to week. Okay. So I just seen you. And all right. I, I hope it helped. I'm glad you. I'm glad you checked this out. What's your name? Where are you from? Hunter Smith, West Virginia. Okay. All right. Thank, Thank you. It's you a pleasure again. meeting you. Nice pleasure meeting you. meeting you. Thank you. All right, everybody. How you doing? This is Robert Rivera with Who's On First, and we're here at the. I'm the hey, everybody. How you doing? This is Robert Rivera with Who's On First, and we're here at the Wendell Stat School for umpires. But today, unfortunately, I don't know if we're gonna get on the field. There's a I don't know if you see behind me, but uh, talk about ducks on a the pond. There we go. That's the metaphor of uh, bases loaded, no outs, and you're the batter. Got ducks on the pond, let's get them in. I got a question for you. Why do you want to be an umpire? The most vilified, the most criticized. They're attacking these guys with uh, electronics. I'm talking to Ed Hickok, and he made, he made a good argument for it. These electronics, they're run by people. Imagine somebody breaking into one of those ball strike calling machines and hacking it. It's possible. So uh, we'll see what, what baseball comes up with. We're going to check out some students today. We're going to see what they got. And maybe one day, if you're down here, I'll see what you got. So you want to be an umpire, huh? Yes! 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 So behind me here, as you can see, the flag is up. We have one of the original logos over there, and we have a pie for Harry Wendell's dad. He was uh, kind, gentle, but stern. This plaque here is dedicated to Harry Wendell's dad, Jr., also known as Chief. This ah! plaque here is for Harry Wendell's dad, Jr., also known as Chief. It says July 27th, 1938 to March 9th, 2012. A teacher, a leader, a mentor, a friend with the big National League symbol on it. All right, so we're at the Wendell's Dad School. And who do we bump into? I'm Lathan the Kid Umpire. Lathan the Kid Umpire. You guys have seen my show. You've seen him. He's been on it. Dad tells me this ain't no dog and pony show. When he comes to umpire your game, he's coming to umpire, right, Lathan? All right. So, uh, so how's it been this year? Good year? It's been good. It's been good? All I right. like, I like it this year. Okay. So I, I saw you went to Savannah Bananas. Yeah. How'd you like that? That was fun. I might go back out to that room. Okay. 
Sounds good. So what's the plans for this year? This se coming season? Next weekend, I'm going to Dallas for like uh, overtime. It's like basketball. Okay. Well, so if everybody wants to watch my show, where, where, what are you watching? Who's on first show with Robert Rivera? There you go. <laughs> All right. So here we are at this wonderful lunch at the Wendell's Day, guys. Come on. Come on. Oh, hey. How are you? What's going on? Good to see you, sir. All righty. So now, what we what we got for here? What do we got for you guys? We got uh, we got cheeseburgers, we got pulled pork, we got grilled chicken sandwiches, we got ham and cheese, and we got hamburgers. And that one T-bone for me, medium. We got that T-bone, that, <laughs> that tomahawk. <laughs> At lunchtime, this is what these guys offer. It's a nice light lunch, and it'll keep you going. Uh oh, here they come! Here they come! How's everybody doing? We're good. All right. We're good. How's lunch? Pretty good? Delicious. All right. What's your name? Where are you from? Uh, my name is Michael Ames. I'm from Eugene, Oregon. Dan Seelap from Hamilton, Ontario. I'm Matthew Mayo. I'm from Glen Ridge, New Jersey. I'm Frankie Sheehy. I'm from Glen Allen, Illinois. Okay. How are you guys liking the school so far? I'm loving it. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun? A lot of work. A lot of fun. It's like working double headers every day for a month. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so what do, you, what do you guys think of all the, the work and all the knowledge you guys are getting? We've, we've only just got a taste of it, I think. Okay. I've always been like obsessed with baseball this whole way. I thought I'd do everything. Oh. I didn't. Yeah, I, I mean, stuff to learn I've been umpiring for 13 years and I'm still learning. So, yeah. Is this, yeah, is this part of the fun bunch over here? Yeah, we are, t are discussing the 13 ways a pitcher could ball. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Show me the ways, right? Show me the ways of balking. All right, so you guys are here in the second week. What do you guys think? It's well, fun. I, I love personally love it. Cool. Sir. I've been umpiring for years, and there's at least once a day I'll, I'll find something like, wow. Wow. I didn't, I didn't know that. You get an aha moment, right? Yeah. All right, so what's your name? Where are you from? Uh, Paul Harding, New York City. Oh, near right. Ethan McMurray, Vancouver. Okay. Landon Gratzinger, Sean, Wisconsin. Okay. Connor Jocelyn, Edmonton, Alberta. Excuse me. Don Say. Born and raised in St. Louis, Missouri, huge Cardinal fan, but live currently live in Sacramento, California. Okay, all right. How's everybody liking umpire school so far? I love it. It's a little more physically taxing than I expected, but I can handle it. Okay. It. What's your name? Where are you from? I'm Henry Schmolovitz. I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio. Okay, how about you? I'm Dan Clauser. I'm from Reading, Pennsylvania. Okay. My name is Cade Williamson. I'm from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Okay, all right. Sure. So what do you think of umpire school? It's been a lot, but we got a bunch of great instructors out here that are teaching us the best they can, and we're getting, getting through it. So, All right. So it's going good. All right, so I'll see you guys in third week then. Good luck. You sure will. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Scott Cranston, Trumbull, Connecticut. Okay. Blaze D'Ambrosio, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Ooh. Tony Gonzalez, you uh, start for Connecticut. Right? Okay. All right, so I mean, you're here in the second week of Wendell Stat, Umpire School. What do you guys think? Impressive. <laughs> a lot of work. Uh, great instructors. Just wish the weather was a little bit better. <laughs> yeah, it feels a little flooded. From my perspective, I never knew umpiring was as complicated as it is. Mm -hmm. And to your point, Scott, I will never look at a baseball game exactly the same, <laughs> same. after going through this experience. That's the whole premise, man. That's the whole premise. All right, guys. Well, thank you. Thank you. Gentlemen, how we doing? Good, man. How's it going, man? How you guys like umpire school so far? It's going good. Yeah? Going good. So, so here we are, second week. Second you guys week. get any aha moments yet? Uh, yeah, most of it's been the test. It's like, aha, you were wrong. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Where are you from? Hunter uh, Shaw from Maryland. Okay. Doug Elvis from South Carolina. All right. How about you? Andrew Words from Virginia. Okay. Parker Krauss, Iowa. Okay. So the stuff started to make sense to you guys yet? Yeah. Oh, you still got some head spinning on? We thought I thought I knew what baseball was, so I got here. It turns out I really don't know much about it. Mm -hmm. I, I got that my whole life. I got that aha moment too. Yeah, but it's it's it's, stupid it's fun. I feel it. like as umpires, <laughs> we uphold the integrity of the game. You know, a lot of you know, absolutely people think that oh, they're fixing the game, whatever. But as umpires, we have to ensure that it's fair for both. Yeah, my favorite was the guy who told me he goes, "How hard could it be to umpire? Just ball strike safe and out." 
okay. Okay. Four pitches later, he was crying. Yeah. <laughs> That's usually yeah. how it goes. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, thanks, guys. Yeah, man. Appreciate you. Oh, somebody's ready for the plate there. All right. All right. So we talked to some of the students. We too, guys. It feels a little flooded, but they're gonna go on field two there, and they're gonna do some demos. They're gonna show them some stuff, and then after that should be going into the cages. All right. Right now, as you can see, first base, it's all flooded. They're out in the outfield. The instructors are going on right now and they're gonna be doing their demo. All right, so as you can see behind me, here is the formation. They're gonna call the ball. When we sit on the rubber, set, call it. Uh, they're gonna be calling strikes. They call time, is what they do in the outfield. Get you ready for the cages. We're gonna head over to the cages, see what some of these guys got. All right, let's go. I show you the plaque, I show you the one of the original logos for the Harry Wendelstadt Umpire School here in Florida. But this is the Wendelstadt logo now. This was unveiled to us in 2003. And if you look at the face mask, they said that was supposed to be the pitcher's mount. The pitcher's rubber. You have an H, you have a W. So that could be for Harry Wendelstadt or Hunter Wendelstadt, who's running the school now. And it's the Wendelstadt Umpire School. I believe this was the Al Summer School, and then Wendell Stat took it over from him. Okay, so we're over here at the cages. And as you can see, you got the instructor back there. He's critiquing them right off the bat. He's making the calls. You got students calling pitches, throwing pitches. And this is what they're gonna be doing. Let's go take a look. Outside of your shoulders for your feet. Um, and then just make sure you know where you're at, distance from the catcher. Because we really want to be able to see that outside. Yep. Outside of that, not bad. Thank you. There's the critiques. Hey, we have it right there. What's going on? Who's on first? Who's on first? What's on first? I don't know, third base. I didn't even mention a guy's name on third base. Yes, you did. Oh, you ready? Are you ready? Yes, sir. Hang on. William J, play no party. One more pitch. On the rubber. Set. Ball one. It, it went away. Make sure when the ball goes away like that, you're tracking the baseball still. Back. Okay, good. Yeah, sure. Kellen is critiquing. This young man here is giving him some good pointers. He's watching what he's doing. Instant feedback. Instant feedback. Once you get that instant feedback, then you're able to adjust and you're able to move on and move on to the next thing. Might be a height, might be a widened toes, might be your knees not bent correctly. There's always something that they're looking at. And you have to be able to adjust and overcome those and move on to the next critique and be better than the last one, okay? And that's why I tell you guys, you gotta be teachable, especially in these moments here. If you're flinching, you're blinking, if your toes are pointed out, you're too high, you're too low, you gotta be teachable. You gotta be able to take these critiques, adjust, and move on. Now, I've gotten some questions about how come I don't go down to other schools and other clinics and I'll go to a clinic and for, for umpires um, I don't advertise at other schools I don't go down to the major league camp I don't do that I'm respecting my alma mater so people from Harvard they don't go over and say hey Yale's great school you should go over there and try them too you want to go there that's fine you want to go wherever you want that's that's on you but I'm not advertising it 
I advertise my alma mater, and that's it. Keep swinging. If you like the show, please do me a favor. Subscribe, right? Right. You see it? It's right there. Subscribe, share, like, and don't forget, put that bell on. I'll ding you when I put something else on, all right?